This is Mark Dubois with the World Organization of Webmasters, WOW, and the WOW Tech Minute. I'm here today with Jeffrey Zeldman at an event of art in the conference in Chicago. I have the distinct pleasure of interviewing Jeffrey as a participant. I'll say that this has been a fantastic conference so far. Truly enjoyed the presentations up to this point. With respect to your opening comments, you mentioned one of the, um, the core competencies that a web designer should have is empathy. And I'm wondering if you could elaborate on that a bit for our listeners, please. Sure, I'll be, I'll be happy to. I think there are two ways to be to create great web experiences. One way is following your own passion and the other way or your own interest no matter what. And the other way is speak, find, creating something for other people, finding out as much as you can about those people. So one way one way of doing it is something doesn't exist in the world. You'd like it to exist in the world. You wish someone would get around to doing it. Nobody gets around to doing it. Nobody gets around to making it. And you realize it's kind of your job if you want to see this thing. You know, so whether it's your blog, whether it's a website or local church or organization, whatever whatever it is, uh, whether it's a world organization of webmasters as well used to be called you know, because no one had put that group together, someone's got to do it. So you, you get motivated to do something because no one's doing it. For me, one of those things was the Web Standards Project, right? Some friends and I got together and formed this group, not because we really wanted to spend a whole lot of hours doing something. It didn't make us any money, but b- because we thought there was a, a, a need for it and nobody was doing it, and so it had to be done. And, and uh, it seems to me, it's, it's, it's been my experience that if you create something because you really believe in it and want to see it exist, uh, that, uh, that you can be successful in it. And you don't really have to be a genius, you just have to really care about it and keep working. Um, the other way, uh, the other more in the client services way or an in-house design where a lot of us uh, work, the, the trick there is to, I think, is, is first and foremost to identify who's going to use the site and uh, what needs uh, what needs they have, what needs aren't being met by the existing site and all that, and just always put that first, always put those kinds of questions first. And in the conference, I mean, people have talked about different ways of getting at that, like our last speaker was talking about um, a disciplined approach toward, uh, a disciplined approach toward uh, creating uh, achievable goals that are based on what people need to do and then and using those as the basis of, of what you design uh, there are different ways of doing it but empathy in, in design is you know is thinking about someone else not assuming that because that because you like it it's good or not assuming that because it works for you it works for everyone um, one of the tricks you, I mean we are experts right all of us are experts to some degree in uh, internet technology so there are things that we create that aren't confusing to us but that could be very confusing to other people all the time I'm using uh, I'm constantly exposed to like startup companies uh, project and products people come up with and and a lot of times they're very creative projects, but it'll take me a while to figure out what it is because they haven't made that. They haven't started from the premise of figuring out how to communicate what, what needs they're fulfilling and how to communicate what what is what is there to be done. So you'll you'll go to something and you know I, I mean there are lots of like web applications that my friends like or invite me to, so I'll, I'll try them. But it might take me thirty. It's only because I like my friends that I keep trying to figure out what the site's about. A site shouldn't do that. A site, a site should be comprehensible. It should be ever ever more deeply comprehensible. I don't mean that if you have uh, a site about uh, lupus that someone's supposed to be able to go to that web page and understand everything about that disease. Quite the contrary. But they, someone should go to that website and go, oh, this is, a, this is a site for people who have lupus or think they have lupus or have family members who have lupus to get information about that disease. It should be that simple. And how to find the information should be that simple. All these things should be Fantastic. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. It's been a distinct pleasure to uh, interview you. A true privilege and honor to meet you. So this is Mark Dubois with the World Organization of Webmasters and the WOW Technology Minute. Today's WOW Technology Minute is sponsored by Web Directions North. Web Directions North North is taking place in Denver, Colorado, February 2009, and is one of the world's leading conferences for web professionals, bringing together the leading experts from around the nation and around the world to educate, entertain, and inspire. WOW will be participating at Web Directions North with a special session entitled Educating the Next Generation of Web Professionals. Check out all the details and the great links on the wowtechnologyminute.com website.